With costs rising, some in the real estate industry are saying it could be making it harder for people to find their new home. Mm -hmm. News Channel 20's Carson Gordy joins us in the studio now with new information. Carson. The housing market has seen major changes since the COVID-19 pandemic, and it could be trickling down and affecting which apartments are available. With interest rates being higher to pay off mortgages, Capital Realtor Dominic Campo says many families are deciding to stay put in their current home with lower rates instead of moving. So to leave the comfort of your 3% interest rate is pretty daunting right now, and especially you're going to pay more for a house right now than we have in the last two years. Campo says this is factored into fewer homes being available in Sangamon County and has affected first-time home buyers the most, as some sit on the sidelines or struggle to compete in multi-offer bids. So the less homes for sale means more people are choosing to rent. Um, and that obviously has an effect on the number of apartments that are available. I spoke to Joy Myers of Joyner Construction, which manages two newer apartments in the west side of Springfield. She says the wait for a one to two bedroom apartment is eight to 12 months and even longer for three bedrooms or more. She says new locations in Rochester will also have a months long waiting period. I do think that there is a demand for all housing. It doesn't just not just apartments, whether it's single family houses, duplexes. When I spoke to Springfield Mayor Misty Busher about new apartment construction in downtown Springfield, including the Madison Street location that is set to hold over 100 units. She says she hasn't been in contact with the property owner and didn't have a timeline when the building would be ready to go. Springfield Sangamon Growth Alliance CEO Ryan McCready says more apartments are needed. When we speak to employers in the medical district and also in downtown, uh, they, they uh, consistently say that they need more multifamily apartment type housing for their employees, that there's a demand for it. When I spoke to Ryan McCready, he says that he wants more apartments, not just in the general, uh, just not just in downtown, but all across the capital city. Reporting in studio, I'm Carson Gordy. All right, thank you, Carson. According to national surveys, apartment rents have ticked up nationwide. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.